Today we're going to learn how to install the A4988 and the DRD8825 on the ramps 1.6. Now I need to tell you a couple things before we install. First of all, this is our X stepper, our Y stepper, our Z stepper, our E0 stepper, and our E1 stepper. Also, in order to get the full degree of step, you want to have all three of your jumpers in place so that you can get either 1 16th of a step with the A4988 or 1 32nd of a step with the DRD8825. Here's an extreme close up of the A4988. And as you can see, the chipset on top says 4988. Now, the things that we're interested in on this chipset, being the stepper board, would be the enable pin over here, the direction pin over here, and then the ground pin. This will enable us to actually place the stepper driver correctly into the board. And there's one other thing right here, it's the trim pod. This allows you to adjust the current using a multimeter to get the correct current for your NEMA 17 stepper driver. Now keep in mind, the computation for each varies depending upon the equipment you're using. So you'll have to read the data sheets for both the A4988 and the NEMA 17 in order to calibrate this. Here's an extreme close-up of the DRV8825. And as you can see, it also has a lot of components on the board. Unfortunately, they don't mark on top where the pins should be for enable direction and ground. But I'll show you how to figure that out in just a moment. I just want to point out, first of all, that we have our trim pod right here, used to adjust the current as well. And then we have our stepper chip right here, being the DRV8825. Here's the underside of the DRV8825. And as you can see, there's an EN written right here for enable. And that would be our pin right next to it. On the other side, in the upper right hand corner, you can see that there's a direction for direct for your pin right here. And then you have your ground pin down here. Okay, now that we know where the enable pin on our steppers goes, we need to find out where the enable pin is located on the ramps 1.6. And in order to do that, we have to look closely at the pinout diagram on the RepRap wiki. And as you can see down here, there's an EN that shows the enable pin. And then over here, we have our direction pin. And up here, we have our ground pin. So now we know how to orient it. Okay, now that we know the orientation, we're going to pick up our board because we already have our jumpers selected correctly. We're going to flip it over so that we can find where the enable pin is because we know the enable pins that are located on the board are here, right in here someplace, here, here, and then over in here. But we're only interested in the X and the Y steppers. So now that we know where the enable pin is, we're going to rotate it over and we're going to bring it over to where it should be. And we're going to apply a little bit of thumb pressure to get it into position. And once it's in position, we want to place our cooling fins on it so it can keep it cool while it's printing. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same for the DRV where we flip it over and we find where the enable pin is and rotate it over and place it over where it should be and then apply a little bit of pressure, put it in place 
as well. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to pick up our cooling fins and place it on our chip to wick away the heat. Now that we have the chipsets in place, we need to program it. So we're going to connect the big side of the USB serial cable to our board below. And then we're going to connect the small side to the computer. And you may hear a beep. So what I've done is I've downloaded the most current version of the Marlin firmware and I'm going to open this up a different way. I'm going to open up the subfolder because we already have the Arduino Studios loaded. So inside your unzipped folder, you're going to go to the Marlin folder and then you're going to look for Marlin and it has an extension of .ino, but I don't have extensions showing right now, so I'm going to double click on it. It's going to open up the Arduino. And inside here, we have our configuration tab and our configuration advanced tab. We're interested in the configuration.h. So one of the things I want to check though, I want to go back to this folder because we have a particular chipset and it's a good habit to show you, is that inside the source directory and then the Board directory we have a boards.h inside boards.h we have the ramps so we're going to do a search on ramps and currently it shows a couple of different scenarios but it doesn't show the ramps 1.6 so what we're going to use is the ramps 1.4 which is board underscore ramps underscore one four underscore e f b so now that you know that you can make a copy of it if you would like but the problem is that this is the default configuration inside the arduino for marlin firmware so we're going to do a search on motherboard to get to where we need to go and currently, the motherboard, if you scroll down a little, already has it there because that's what they base their default on. So we're all good with that. Now we don't need to adjust the actual COM port here. We can actually go over here and set it. So we're going to select our chipset, which is the Mega AT Mega 2560. So we're all set there. But our port we need to select, in this case, it's COM port 13 that we have connected for the combination of the ramps board and the Arduino Mega 2560. So we're going to click that. And now we're going to do a search on our actual steppers. So we're going to do a control F and we're going to search on A4988. And inside here, we're going to find where they're actually configured. So we're gonna scroll down a little. And as you can see, right here we have our stepper drivers, but they have slash marks in front of them because they're commented out. So in order to make them work, you need to remove the comments by backspacing. So we're gonna do the X driver, the Y driver, and for good practice, we're gonna do the Z driver, and we're going to do E0, which is our first extruder. E1 would be our second. So we're not going to actually worry about our second for the moment because most people don't use the second one at the moment. So now that we have that configured, we need to scroll down. And there's a little bit of complexity here that I have to help you understand. So right now, they have 80, 80. 4,500 for the number of steps. That corresponds to X, Y, Z, and E0. And then you have other steppers that you could configure separately for your extruders. But the reason that they do this is they give us a default number. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to our web browser for a second here. And we're gonna type rep wrap 
calculator and we're going to go to the Prusa link that's right here and as you can see it says hi I'm a calculator which we all know um, there's a filament calculation that you can do we're not interested in that at the moment so we're going to scroll down to where it says stepper motors and then as you can see right here it's got a choice for motors most people use the 1.8 degree of step per revolution so what they're trying to say is there's 200 steps in a circle so now that you know that there are other steppers out there that you can get that have lower degrees of step meaning 0.9 degrees um, I don't recommend that for you if you're just starting out that's a little advanced but we do have our driver micro stepping these are our stepper drivers so the a4988 would be our default stepper driver that they have here and down here are the results so right now it's set for 1 16th of a step if we were to set it up for the value of the drv 8825 we would click here and that would give us the number of steps of 400 over in here so you know that it's probably going to be 200 and 400 for the values but i'm going to use the values that are in the default for now so that you can understand what's occurring and over here they talk about belt pitch this has to do with the actual drive belt and then this is the actual belt type which is the default that most people use and there are others that you can choose from but keep that in mind and then we have our pulley tooth count which is another thing that you could have vary depending upon your configuration so keep all these factors in mind if you want to configure your configuration to the exact settings initially so i'm going to go back to marlin and because we're using the a4988 here i'm going to leave that at 80 but because the drv 8825 does 132nd or double the number of steps i'm going to double the value to 160. so that's the understanding that you need to have for that particular setup now over here what we need to do next is compile our configuration so in order to do that there's a checkbox where we can do verify this is actually a build or compile but we're going to use the upload which will compile and then upload to our board so i'm going to click on that instead and you can see down below what's occurring so down here it's starting to build if any errors occur this is a great place to find them and then try and correct what your issue may be or it'll tell you that your build has completed on this machine with the Arduino studios it should compile rather quick but we'll give it a moment and see what happens so now that the build is actually completed because it says done uploading we can see that uh, there's actually a little bit of uh, an answer of to what occurred that's fine so now that you know it's uploaded to your board without any errors now that you uh, have loaded the firmware and we know it's successful I want you to keep in mind that uh, I hooked up the power off camera so I marked positive for each one of these so that you know where they are they correspond to what's written on the silk screen on the board and I attach this as well as our stepper motors over here now a couple of things I haven't told you about the steppers if it's going the wrong direction what you can do is you can take this plug out and reverse it or you can do it in the Marlin firmware preferably Marlin firmware would be an, a better option for you but I want to make you aware of that so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to power this up in just a second but I'm going to attach or reattach the USB so you're going to hear a beep obviously and I'm going to attach the power to the wall 
Okay, now that it's energized, before I actually test this, I want to let you know that I purchased all of this equipment with my own money. No one's paying me or sponsoring me to do these tutorials, but I will be placing Amazon affiliate links in the description to help you find these. Things. So we're going to go over to the desktop where I have Pronterface, and I'll leave a link in the description where you can download this. I'm going to open up Pronterface, and I'm going to connect to the device. And as you can see right here, it says Marlin 2.0.1, which is the current build. So we know that we're in the correct place. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move the X stepper 100 steps, and we'll see what happens. Now I'm going to move the Y stepper 100 steps, and we'll see what happens. So if you like my tutorial, please press the like button and subscribe. And thank you for your time.